today, our final look at golf in the Poconos. We've been doing this now for five weeks, and we have two more courses. We've got 18 holes of championship golf. We have four sets of tees that can accommodate players of every ability. We can't talk about golf here at Fernwood without talking about snag golf. Snag's an acronym, starting new at golf. And while you're in the neighborhood, don't forget to check out Kittatinny Canoes. Tragic ending, right? You know, it was unfortunate. And Hi again, everybody, and welcome to Inside Golf, presented by Susquehanna Bank and Wealth Management, along with Ellen Coloche. I'm Harry Donahue. Today, our final look at golf in the Poconos. We've been doing this now for five weeks, and we have two more courses to wrap it up. One is the Country Club at Woodlock Springs, and the other is Fernwood. What about Fernwood? Well, Fernwood's a beautiful course, and we're going to talk to the golf pro there. And Harry, he's going to introduce us to a new concept. It's called Snag Golf. You won't want to miss that. Snag Golf. Anything else? And we also have two different attractions that we're going to be show showing you from up in the Poconos. And Harry, they might be on your bucket list. My, my bucket list <laughs> is growing by the day, so apparently we have a new addition. We'll be back Inside Golf from the Poconos, presented by Susquehanna Bank and Wealth Management, continues in just a moment. Inside Golf, presented by Susquehanna Bank. Susquehanna Bank, doing what counts. By Club Champion, better fit, lower scores. Now open in Valley Kinwin. By Southwest Greens, the pro knows. And by the Philadelphia Section PGA, experts in the game and business of golf. Defining a target, realizing a dream. Susquehanna Bank can help you get your plans off the ground. Whether you're sending kids to college or doing something special for yourself. Susquehanna's financial advisors are worth talking to. We can help you find the smartest way to borrow money and save money in the process. Susquehanna Bank, doing what counts for dreamers like you. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. The Country Club at Woodlock Springs is nationally recognized as one of the finest courses in America. PGA professional and director of golf John Pillar tells us more about a facility now celebrating a special anniversary. The Country Club at Woodlock Springs is located just outside Holly, Pennsylvania. We are now celebrating our 20th anniversary. Opened our doors in 1992. We are a semi-private golf facility that allows access to uh, our residents, resort guests. We have private membership and we also allow outside play. Um, we've got 18 holes of championship golf. We have four sets of tees that can accommodate players of every ability, from beginner to expert, and challenge even the, uh, the most experienced golfer. Uh, we've got a 15-acre practice facility. That is our teaching and, uh, and practice facility. We've got three professionals on staff, all PGA members. And one of the things that we look forward to most is providing a country club atmosphere to each and every individual, whether it's their first time ever playing or experiencing Woodlock, or one of our residents who lives here full time. Conditions are outstanding. Our, our golf course superintendent, Jeff Huggaboom, has done an amazing job. And I think overall, you know, we continue to invest into our property uh, as each and every year to make sure that not only the golf experience exceeds our golfers' expectations, but also that our staff is, is, is just as experienced. As John explains, Woodlock Springs is known for its unique par fives. Hole number three and hole number 10 are gonna be three shot par fives. They're gonna require a tee shot that lays you up between 180 yards to 230 yards, depending on the tees that you play, uh, at which point you want to put that golf ball in a specific area. Uh, once you hit your tee shot, what we'll do is uh, you go down to your second shot. And again, target-oriented golf course, your second shot's going to need to be placed pretty strategically to give yourself a, a, an easier third shot or a shorter third shot to the greens. Uh, but one of the unique qualities here at Woodlock Springs is the fact that two of our par fives are definite layup holes off the tee. Uh, and, and three totally three shot holes. The par 5 tenth offers one of those magnificent Pocono Mountain views. We've arrived at the tenth hole and similar to number three we're going to need a layup shot anywhere between 230 yards and 180 yards depending on the tees that you're playing. This is going to open up the entire hole for you. Uh, tee shot is critical. Once we get down and locate our, our tee shot the, the, the tenth hole opens up dramatically and uh, really becomes a little bit easier at that point. You can hit as much club as you want on your second shot, and it's going to leave you as short or long a club as, uh, as you desire in there. But the green is relatively flat, very few hazards. But the tee shot, again, as we said in number three, is going to be critical to the start of this hole. 
Woodlock Springs Signature Hole is number 14. It's a must for every golfer, no matter what ability level, and an attempt to carry the gorge from the gold tee. John is our personal guide. Welcome to the 14th hole, our signature hole here at Woodlock Springs. Uh, the gold tees, as you can see, has a carry of over 220 yards over Hell's Gates Gorge. This tee is without question our most used tee on our property, including the practice facility. Everybody that plays Woodlock generally will stop and hit a golf ball to see if they can carry over the gorge. Uh, if you're playing from the black or the green tees, you're going to go down the cart path across the stream up to the other side, which plays about 522 yards, and it is a very difficult tee shot. You want to hit your tee shot in the fairway, it is again a three shot hole, and the second shot is going to be really your most critical, giving you enough length to get to where you have an open shot. This is one of the holes that we've done a little renovation this year. We've taken down some trees that over our 20 years have grown up. So now you have a visible view of the green and uh, it allows you to get the golf ball up from the 150 yard mark or so and, and carry it and, and get to the green. So uh, one of the small improvements that we've done this year, but celebrating our 20th anniversary, some of those trees have grown up and uh, are become a little bit of a hindrance. So uh, I think you'll enjoy the 14th hole. Challenging yet beautiful. John tells us what the average first-timer at Woodlock Springs can expect. I think one of the things they walk away with is, A, how beautiful the, the, the mountain vistas, the views are, how amazing the conditions are, and then also just how player-friendly uh, the golf course is. But one of the most important parts is that they got to come back and play it again because now they kind of know where they're going. Similar to what we talked about earlier in the par fives, um, you need to know where to go. We have yardage books available, and I encourage everybody to, to purchase one of those prior to going out. It definitely helps you uh, maneuver around the golf course. You've often heard us talk about the PGA's initiative to grow the game. Well, Woodlock Springs has taken it a step further. Woodlock is very conscious on uh, growing this great game of golf, and one of the main reasons is junior golf. Uh, we've put a big emphasis on the juniors. We have a, a junior program that runs throughout the season. We have a kids play free program, which is after three o'clock, kids play free with an accompanied adult. We have the PGA family course tees out on the golf course, which set the golf course up short so that the kids have a play environment. It's not necessarily hit, 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 and try and keep up with mom and dad. This is specifically targeted that they are on or around the green in two hits, depending on their age, uh, and it creates a fun playing environment. And I think one of the most exciting things that we have going on now is uh, we purchased a family golf cart. For that family that has one adult that plays and two or three kids, historically they could only take one child out. Now that you can take your family out in this four-person golf cart and experience in the great game of golf together. Uh, it's one of the new things that we've done to keep, again, keep putting back into uh, our golf facility. That looks amazing. And Harry, I know you have some great Fond memories of Woodlock, right? Yeah, number 14, the tee shot. John, uh, not this year, took me back last year, Hell's Gate Gorge. And, you know, my ego got involved a little bit uh -oh. because I thought, hey, I can get over there. Well, <laughs> well, it didn't happen, okay? I'll be honest with you. It didn't happen. I like it's, your a, honesty. it's a very difficult shot for a mortal golfer like myself. <laughs> what are you going to do? Well, I'm sure you did just fine. Well, nah. it was good. It was, it was a nice challenge didn't happen the way I wanted it to. And a good story and a good memory. <laughs> All right. Coming up next, Mary Ellen. And while you're in the neighborhood, don't forget to check out Kittatinny Canoes. This attraction in Barryville has everything from paintball and canoe trips to camping and their specialty, zipline racing. Two, one. Our dual racing zipline is 3,000 feet long. Um, it is nature friendly, so that is very good for the environment. We get a lot of traffic on it since there is two lines. People can race down. And the ride lasts about a minute, and it's very popular. It's one of the longest ones in top ten in the United States. We get a lot of groups. We get a lot of families, you know, friends. They come out. They can do it at the same time, so that kind of helps if you're fearful. If not, it's just a fun additive thing that you can do. Designed for the adventurous spirit, ziplining comes with a few restrictions. We require you to be between 60 and 250 pounds and above age 8. Here at the Adventure Center for Kittatinny Canoes, we offer the zip line. We also offer wonderful river trips on the upper Delaware and mid Delaware. We cover lots of mileage, and with that, you can, you know, go, go for the day on the canoes, rafts, tubes, or kayaks. We also offer paintball, which is great for large groups. Um, 
you can get camouflage suits and kind of play around for the whole day and picnic. And if you're too tired at the end of the day, then you can camp here. We have uh, over 350 campsites. So it's a very good time for families, friends, and anybody that wants to come visit. And Kittatinny Canoes is definitely worth the drive. In order to find us up here, you can follow Route 97 all the way north. Um, we are very close to a lot of famous attractions. It's a lot off the beaten path, but the view is amazing. Groups travel to this wooded destination tucked high in the Poconos for many reasons. People come here to fill their bucket list. I get a lot of people that are interested in checking off that check mark, so you can come to our zip line and take care of that. It's a really exciting thing. The river is beautiful. I get a lot of people that come off very happy campers, so to say. <laughs> no matter how old you are, Kittatinny Canoes offer something fun for everyone to do. And Harry, Ellen, I know you both have been itching to get up here, so they have your reservation on standby. Thanks very much, Mary Ellen. I'm not sure if Harry and I will be using that harness anytime soon. Maybe someday in the future, Harry. Or maybe I'd like to take it across Niagara Falls. Oh. Now you're really getting adventurous on me. I don't know about that. Coming up next on Inside Golf, we head to Fernwood Golf Club. You won't want to miss that. That's coming up next on Inside Golf, presented by Susquehanna Bank and Wealth Management. At this moment, across the country, families are packing their bags for a getaway. And no matter where they end up, they'll all be home by dinner. Plan your own at PlayGolfAmerica.com. From finding fun and affordable programs to finding advice from PGA and LPGA professionals, PlayGolfAmerica.com has a way for you to get away. Visit today for details. PlayGolfAmerica.com, your link to the game. Our next stop is Fernwood Golf Course at the Fernwood Resort. Darren Ernie is the PGA golf professional and he gives us the Fernwood story. Well, Fernwood Resort opened in 1969, so it's been here for quite some time. I think it's, um, at least in more recent years, been uh, known for being a very well-conditioned golf course and I think this year is no exception. I've had a lot of good, uh, very positive comments and I hear them every week about you know, the condition of the golf course. You know, it's, not a, it's not a very long golf course if you look at the scorecard, but it is a very challenging golf course when it comes down to uh, hitting every shot from tee to green. We've got big greens, we've got um, uh, pretty tricky greens if you don't know them out there, but uh, Fernwood Resort is a 400 acre resort. It's a four season family resort. Uh, we do a lot of golf packages. Uh, we have uh, weekday specials. We have senior specials Monday through Thursday. Uh, Wednesday is our ladies day special. Uh, we do, uh, we got some promotions coming up for the summer involving kids and family golf. Um, so we've got a little something for everybody, but our, our rack rates, our regular rates are very reasonable and um, that brings a lot of people back for some repeat play. Darren shows us one of the most challenging holes on the course, number six, par five. It uh, starts out with kind of an, an uphill blind tee shot. Okay, the uh, landing area, you're gonna likely have a slightly downhill line for your second shot. And again, keeping in mind that you're gonna be probably have a long iron or a fairway wood uh, off of a downhill lie, and you've got 600 yards to go uh, until you get it on the green. It's probably one of our more challenging holes out here. When you get up near the green, uh, the green's a pretty challenging uh, green. There's kind of like a, it's two greens that were uh, combined into one. Our the original green was the front portion, very severely sloped. We don't put the, the whole location up there too much. The back part of the uh, green is where we use it. It's more user friendly, but it's a little bit tougher to get the ball all the way back there. We're at uh, Fernwood, uh, hole number nine. Uh, pretty much a, uh, in character with the rest of our par threes. They're pretty tough. Um, lengthwise, we're looking to white tees, 215 yards uh, to a green that, uh, well, the, the ter terrain slopes from right to left. Uh, it's a big green, but not an easy green to hit just because of the length. And we've got, it's, it's bunkered down there on the left. Um, pretty tough shot. So you've got to have a pretty good short game, not only on this hole, because you're probably going to, not going to use your putter for your second shot. Probably eight out of 10, 10 golfers are going to come here and they're going to have, they're going to be hoped to be on the green by their second shot. We are uh, at, on number 13 tee box at Fernwood. And we are on today's blue hole location, which would not be quite from the tips. We've added, a, added some more yardage to this golf hole. Right here, we're looking at about 370 yards. Green is kind of sloped. Um, 
back to front and you know provides a little bit of challenge right there pretty pretty uh, straightforward tee shot the second shot uh, is where you're going to probably find some challenge getting your getting your ball on the, or close to the uh, to the hole location there's something else you should notice when you play around at this beautiful course we've got um, over 20 bluebird boxes on the golf course uh, bluebird is a, a cavity nesting bird native to pennsylvania uh, bluebirds will eat a lot of insects uh, considered uh, a beneficial bird out on the golf course uh, if you don't like getting bitten by bugs then you want to see a lot of these on the courses that you that you play we can't talk about golf here at Fernwood without talking about snag golf. Snag is an acronym, starting new at golf. And what it is, it's a, it's a kind of unique proprietary system uh, to teach people how to play real golf uh, without really playing real golf. So what we do, a lot of fundamentals are very, very similar. And in the process, we're gonna use a launch pad and we're gonna use our snag golf ball right here. We're gonna put that right on top. We're gonna line up toward our snag target and we're gonna see what happens. Okay, good shot. A lot of, a lot of power in that one. Let's do another one right here. Letter Y, letter L, and backwards letter L. All right, great way to learn golf and to try to get a little more acclimated and get that step closer to getting out and playing some real golf. A lot of fun, a lot of family fun. A golfer coming to, uh, to play golf here this year at Fernwood uh, can expect to see a um, really uh, highly ma manicured golf course, really nice tight fairways, full fairways. Uh, greens are rolling really nice uh, and very challenging. Um, so you got to bring, uh, you know, if you look at the scorecard, you know, you'll be, you might be a little deceived thinking it's going to be an easy golf course, uh, but it's really not. You've got to, you got to play every shot um, and you might need to play this golf course another time or two before you can really get to get the, get the hang of how it was designed and how it was meant to be played. Uh, if you come out and try to attack the golf course, you might find yourself, uh, you might be in for a long afternoon. Anybody's watching wants to know more about Fernwood and wants to know what's happening uh, up to date, get on our email list. Okay, you can do that by visiting our website or by calling us directly in the golf shop and we can take down your information and make sure that you get our specials that'll be sent right to your house. And down the road, Mary Ellen Brennan has another place you can check out. We have another great attraction for the whole family on our Pocono tour. The SNS Speedway on Business 209 in Snydersville promises plenty of thrills to get your heart racing. It's actual simulates dirt track racing, and you actually get to race against your friends, your, your uh, wife or kids, whatever the case might be, where a lot of go-kart tracks don't allow actual physical racing. Um, you're outdoor, and there's, there's some indoor tracks, but you're going to run against the a clock time-wise, not side-by-side -side with your friends. Amusement for fun, simulates dirt track racing, like I said, without being able to tear the wheels off and, and destroy the cars, so to speak. So um, you can come have fun with your friends, family, whatever the case may be, without costing you an arm and a leg. It takes a little time to get used to because everybody thinks go-karts, that you just come in and you get in and you mash on the gas and, and go like your outdoor go-kart track. It's not like that. Their actual speed of the cars are, is right around 25 mile an hour, and it's a slick track. So it takes a little get used to, a little bit of talent to make it happen. Getting behind the wheel of one of these go-karts is a weekly routine for 91-year-old racer Bob Nyhart. He comes in smiling and leaves super smiling. And every Sunday he comes for his therapy claims. One race, 91 years old, God bless him. The crew at SNS Speedway recently hosted racers from the Pocono 500. They were in town two days early for the testing deal they had for the payment. And third, our Wednesday night, Marcus Ambrose and Denny Hamlin and their gang came down. And we had the time of our lives, and so did they. And actually, if Denny would have won on Sunday, I was invited to go to Victory Lane with him. It's close, but maybe next time. So what does it take to get started? We have uh, our original deal, your first time in, and our rookie special. It, it consists of a five race ticket, your SNS Speedway license, which is a one time deal. I think it's 35 bucks for that rookie special deal. Once you have your license, you don't have to buy that again. People still need to come out and have fun, vacationers mainly. So we're open actually seven days a week uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, noon to five. And then after five is when we do our private parties. Thursday, Friday is 5 to 10 p.m. And Saturday noon to 10, Sunday noon to 7. Rain or shine, we can do it.
So when you're done that round of golf, race on over to the SNS Speedway. He's won already a U.S. Open. He was Joe coming down the wire, maybe this close to getting number two. If five friends are having a light beer and they all put their drinks down in the same place, how long will it take to find the Yingling Light Lager? About that long. Because the rich amber color of Yingling Light Lager makes it stand out from the rest. The true lager flavor, however, makes it disappear. 99 calories, 100% authentic lager. Yingling Light Lager, from America's oldest brewery. Rethink your light beer. Guests of Inside Golf enjoy dining at Sin Sin, the popular Asian fusion restaurant located on Germantown Avenue in the heart of scenic Chestnut Hill. And now it's time for Teed Off, brought to you by Yingling, America's oldest brewery. Had a couple of slide backs in tournaments already. And welcome back. We continue with our Just Teed good. Off segment. We are at the Tilted Kilt on Route 202, right adjacent to the King of Prussia Ball. And of course, the Tilted Kilt it's where a beer never looks so good. They have 50 flat screen TVs, plenty of specials, happy hour every day at the Tilted Kilt. Joining us today, Joe Logan from myphillygolf.com and from just about everywhere in the Philadelphia area when it comes to golf. Tony Leodora, the host of Golf Talk Live on WNTP every Saturday morning at 7 a.m. You know, guys, in the recently completed U.S. Open and Olympic. Uh, regardless whether you think Jim Furyk is a local guy or not, and we can talk about that, I guess, forever. Everybody will agree Jim Furyk is one of the tour's good guys. He's won already a U.S. Open. He was Joe coming down the wire, maybe this close to getting number two, which would have made his life so much more enjoyable. Yeah. But it didn't happen, and it was like watching an accident. You know, it was terrible to watch, and unfortunately. He couldn't pull the string at the right time. Tragic ending, right? You know, it was unfortunate. I mean, Jim is, a, as you said, a nice guy. He's also getting at a stage in life where he's not going to have too many opportunities like this, and he wants to take advantage of it. Uh, so 74 on Sunday was not good. That said, I would not put this uh, in the category with meltdowns like jo uh, uh, John Vandeveld at Carnoustie or Greg Norman at the Masters in 96. It, you know, it was unfortunate. I'm sure, uh, and there's nothing you or I could say that I'm sure Jim has not already said to himself. But uh, it was unfortunate. Yeah. You agree with that assessment, Tom? Huh? Yeah, I mean, it wasn't like somebody just so far ahead that they you, you figured it was wrapped up. What made me feel bad about it was that and we're not supposed to ever cheer in the press box, you know that, but it's hard not to root for somebody like Jim. And I felt even worse, I felt actually guilty because the day before on the Golf Talk Live radio show, I predicted that he had, I think I actually said he has no shot to win. So you uh, did the Karnak thing and uh, well, figured it wasn't going to be his round regardless of where he stood going into it. The, the, I, I know that his nerves are not what they used to be and they had gotten frayed and he had had a couple of slide backs in tournaments already and once you start to see that those 40 something nerves don't hold up and you saw all the guys that you know Ernie Els went backwards too and even Graham McDowell and uh, it, it's just so difficult once you get a little bit older it seems and, you know, we've seen it with Tom Watson giving away one at the end. Well, in an Olympic, Greg we Norman. saw it in 1966 with Arnie losing to well, Casper, was right? With I mean, a seven-shot lead. Yeah, he was young, and it just that, that he just imploded them. But here, you just see that older guy who can't hang on. And you wish they would get that one more shot. They don't. Well, How many times do you think he's hit that tee shot in 16 in his head? Uh, you know, the, the snap hook. Well, yeah, that will torment Miller, him. Johnny Miller keeps talking about clutch and choking and all this I mean is that a choke well, is it a choke for a guy like Jim Furyk who has been around and, and won I mean does it, Jim Furyk it's, choke it's inability to control your motions coming down the stretch in a huge pressure situation whatever word you want to attach to that fine but that's exactly <laughs> what it is okay you have I'll, to call I'll take spade that spade. I'll take that as a yes Let's go to Ellen Coloche. She's at the bar, and one of the patrons has a question for Tony. Thanks, Harry. We're joined now by Gigi. She's a server here at the Tilted Kilt. Gigi, what is your question for Tony? 
Hi, Tony. What is your favorite feel-good ending in golf? Well, the one in golf that I remember best, and I'm sure a lot of people do, is Ben Crenshaw's win at the Masters, his second Masters championship, shortly after the death of Harvey Penick. He crumbled right at the cup after he made the winning putt. The hat came over his head. He looked up to heaven, remembering the great teacher he had had for so many times. It was a storybook ending. And ben Crenshaw, on, happy As big a stage as there is Absolutely. in golf. That's teed off Inside Golf, presented by Susquehanna Bank and Wealth Management, continues in just a moment. Hi, my name's Nicole. Come visit us at the Tilted Kill in King of Prussia, where we have over 24 beers on draft and where a cold beer never looks so good. The Tilted Kilt Pub and Eatery. Great food, cold beer, and lots of varieties. A Celtic pub with amazing atmosphere, fantastic sports entertainment, and most of all, beautiful cast members. Come see us. At this moment, across the country, families are packing their bags for a getaway. And no matter where they end up, they'll all be home by dinner. Plan your own at PlayGolfAmerica.com. From finding fun and affordable programs to finding advice from PGA and LPGA professionals, PlayGolfAmerica.com has a way for you to get away. Visit today for details. PlayGolfAmerica.com, your link to the game. Early mornings, late nights, and way too many takeout dinners. Running a business takes energy, determination, and sacrifice. And whether you're a startup, well-established, or somewhere in between, the people of Susquehanna Bank have the knowledge to help you succeed. From cash management solutions to the benefits of local loan decisions, we help keep your business moving ahead. Susquehanna Bank, doing what counts for businesses like yours. Member FDIC. For more golf course tours, swing tips, and deals on greens fees, check out the new teeitupphilly.com. Thanks for joining us. That's going to do it for this week's edition of Inside Golf from the Poconos. Our final show. I'm going to miss the mountain life, huh? Harry, we met some really great people and we saw some really great courses. We will miss it, but we'll be back next year. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, of course, the people can keep coming. You don't have oh, to be yeah. uh, with Inside Golf and they have a great gift card. That's right, Harry. It's called the Golf Around Card. It costs $40. You pay $25 to golf at eight different courses twice. So the card pays for itself like that. Right away. Pronto. Hey, coming up on the weeks ahead as the summer continues, we'll be at places like Skipack mm -hmm. in Montgomery County. We're going down to the Wilmington area, Brandywine Country Club. George McNamara has been there for a long time. He's yep. going to be our host pro. And then later, we're going to leave the immediate Philadelphia area and head farther south to Myrtle Beach. You won't want to miss that. That should be a great trip. That'll be uh, a lot of sand and a lot of golf down at Myrtle Beach. For Ellen Coloje, I'm Harry Donahue. Remember, no matter how bad it's going for you out there, don't pick up. We'll see you next time on Inside Golf, presented by Susquehanna Bank and Wealth Management. Inside Golf, presented by Susquehanna Bank. Susquehanna Bank, doing what counts. By Club Champion, better fit, lower scores. Now open in Ballot can win. By Southwest Greens, the pro knows. And by the Philadelphia Section PGA, experts in the game and business of golf.